Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to be talking about whether or not biology is a worthwhile degree to pursue at the undergraduate level. Now many people gravitate towards biology if they have the intention of pursuing medical school after their undergraduate program. Biology happens to be a life science which falls within the science category so it technically is a STEM degree. However, one of the interesting things to note about biology is that outside of going to medical school, it isn't the most marketable degree out there. One of the reasons for this is if you have the intention of staying within the field, many labs and many research centers require candidates to have either a master's or PhD training in that specific field in order for them to actually get gainful employment within that specific uh, realm. Because of this, a lot of students who don't get into medical school feel as though they're boxed into graduate school uh, for them to be able to actually stay within the field. In addition to this, biology happens to be one of the most rigorous undergraduate programs in the sense that there's a lot of coursework within the actual lectures itself, in addition to a lot of lab work as well. So it's going to require students to spend numerous amounts of hours studying, memorizing various things in order for them to excel within their actual classes. This means that while you're pursuing this degree, if it happens to be on a full-time basis, the likelihood of you being able to secure uh, a numerous different jobs uh, or internships or uh, be able to do a lot of on-campus activities in addition to excelling in your coursework is not going to be as easy as it might be for some people in other degrees. And so for this reason, a lot of students feel as though they've put a ton of hard work into their undergraduate program, come out of the program, might not be able to get into the medical school of their choice, maybe can't afford it or can't go to one that makes sense for their career. They feel as though they're kind of boxed into a corner. And so for this reason, a lot of biology students will typically pursue additional skills outside of their actual degree, whether it's academically or whether it's through self-study, in order to make themselves more marketable in the marketplace. And so one example of this is a lot of students, and I, and I recommend that if you happen to be in this field and you have second thoughts about medical school, taking up an additional skill like computer programming, for example. The benefit here is the fact that it's a very in-demand uh, type of uh, skill to have, but also if you happen to come across a startup that's in the, the pharmaceutical realm or that's just in the healthcare field, you'll have the context that some of the other candidates who are pure computer programmers might not have, but you'll also have some of the programming skills as well that'll make you perhaps competitive in, in a position like this. A lot of other people might pursue finance or accounting designations so that they can perhaps pursue banking um, to, to service some of the pharmaceutical industries. That might be a little bit more fringe, and, and I don't know whether or not the job prospects there are going to be a little bit more limiting, uh, but that's also something else to consider as well. But another thing in general is just being able to realize where you can make the connection between what your actual degree is and what skills you've actually been able to acquire and whether or not you can apply that to another field or what you can do to kind of diversify some of the risks that you might be taking on by just putting all of your eggs in one basket. STEM overall happens to be extremely in demand. However, it is important to note that not all STEM majors are equal. And for that reason, a lot of them happen to be very theoretical, whereas a lot of them are more practical. And so being able to understand where your specific degree lies and where your specific biology degree lies is going to be extremely important for you to determine what you need to do to be competitive in the marketplace. In the case of biology, the fact that it is a life science, it tends to be a little bit more theoretical than you would ideally like for it to be. And so for that reason, being able to explore additional options in addition to pursuing your degree is probably going to be something that you'll want to look at. With that said, if you do have the intention of going to medical school, it's probably one of the most relevant degrees that you can get. And it'll give you some of the background that you're going to need to be successful in that specific program as well. But I do caution you to be very mindful of the fact that medical schools itself are very, very competitive. In a lot of cases, if you can't get in, um, th there aren't a whole lot of alternatives in addition to uh, going to, to further study. So this is my synopsis on the biology degree overall. I'd love to hear some of your thoughts if you are a biology major or if you've spent some time uh, looking into this or if you have any personal experiences that you'd like to share definitely leave it in the comment section below I don't ever want to discourage anyone from looking at a biology degree because I think it is very very useful uh, a lot of people actually go into teaching and one of the benefits here is that uh, it, because it is such a rigorous 
degree, a lot of students won't necessarily look to teaching. They'll look to some of the more lucrative fields. And so if you have the intention of teaching science as kind of a backup, if you don't get into medical school, that might actually be something that's very relevant. And uh, you might find a, a much easier time getting into a degree like that. One thing I will caution you, though, is be mindful of where you're going to school for your undergraduate degree and whether or not um, it's something that's going to equip you with a bunch of debt that's going to prohibit you from being able to explore maybe non not-for-profit opportunities or teaching opportunities when you do graduate. So that's going to be all for this video. Like I said, leave your comments, questions, concerns in the description or in the comment section below. And until next time, thanks again for watching.